Counting heads costs a lot of money. That was the message from the Commerce Secretary to Congress today. As Secretary Wilbur Ross asked for the funds, he says his department needs to conduct the 2020 census. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen explores whether our ability to determine the number of Americans depends on the numbers being tossed around on Capitol Hill today. Through wars, booms, and panics, the census has presented a steadily broadening picture of the nation. And with just 30 months to go before the Census Bureau kicks off its constitutionally mandated count of every living soul in America, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross told House Oversight lawmakers the Bureau needs $15.6 billion to get it done, $3 billion more than the cost in 2010. Ross cited declining response rates, heightened privacy concerns, widespread mistrust of government, and the integration of new IT infrastructure, the cracks in which Ross learned about soon after he assumed office. And only two months into my tenure, the Census Bureau suddenly announced a 40 percent cost overrun in one component, namely the Census Enterprise Data Collection and Processing. House Freedom Caucus Chair Mark Meadows, a budget hawk, questioned why appropriators should increase the Census Bureau's budget when the agency has not reformed its troubled relationship with contractors and subcontractors. There are some 43 IT systems that need to be implemented. And yet today, only four have actually been fully implemented. Ross claimed the Census Bureau's cybersecurity is the most robust it's ever been. But when Republican Jody Heiss of Georgia, another Freedom Caucus member, asked how Ross can be certain of that, the secretary cited conversations with his team. So it's all based on conversation, not on tests. It's impossible to test something that doesn't yet exist. 80%. My point precisely. Democrats were You're equally displeased with Ross's proposal, but for the opposite reason. Uh, and I think it's a good start, but I don't think it's good enough. I'm not used to being granted more money than I asked for, so that's a totally new experience <laughs> for me. Federal figures show the cost per household of conducting the census more than doubled from 1990 to 2010 from $45 to $92. And internal auditors at Commerce say that in the testing phase leading up to 2020, they've identified cost overruns and unaccounted for costs. Brett. James, thank you.